Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, finally got my Langmire Crossfire, Langmire, Langmire, I don't know, Crossfire uh, plasma table I've been wanting to get for a while. Uh, so, got a little video here, gonna unpack everything, take a look at what it's got, and hopefully get it assembled and uh, give it a quick test run. Holy crap, they uh, definitely packaged this up good. Staples, tape, did not want it to fall out for sure. Okay, packing peanuts! Let's see what we got. Uh, that's the arm. For the plasma torch. Ugh, more stuff. Alright. The old handy dandy Leatherman. Come on, Leatherman. Alright, I should probably use the knife. better. Heck. Uh, don't know what it is. All right, let's just pull everything out and then we'll unpackage it and go from there. Okay, so far, really impressed with the packaging. Uh, everything was either taped up or in plastic. Uh, nice. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, so we got the hardware, stepper motor, and electronics enclosure. We got the slats. Um, I've got the uh, track system sitting over there. And this here is actually the Razor Weld 30 um, that I ordered with the package. They do have a 45. Uh, which I believe they said can cut up to half inch, but I really don't need that much. So I was told the 30 can do up to a quarter inch, and a couple people have tried to get like three eighths out of it. So I may give that a try and just see what happens. But either way, a quarter inch is pretty good. If I need anything larger or thicker, I'll just ask some of my friends or some of the local burn shops to do it. So Okay, I'm going to dismantle everything out of the rest of the packaging, uh, find the direction somewhere, and... Hopefully, uh, at least try and put some of this together. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, next step. Okay, frame is built. I like it. It's light, moves around pretty easy. So honestly, it didn't take very long to put together. It was pretty easy. Okay, next step is the gantry assembly. Uh, it's going to go across here. That's actually going to hold where the torch moves around and goes from there. So uh, let's put that on, and then we'll see what's next.
get gantries on. Another pretty easy step. Let's get it pretty quick. All right, I should probably lock these wheels to keep the thing from moving. And lock. Ta -da. Okay, according to their instructions, the next step is the slat bed. Um, looks like just as before, it'll probably be pretty easy. Um, I did order a water table, for which I probably should have bought for the kit originally, but it didn't. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the slat bed in for now and use it. And then when the water table comes in, I'll just switch it on over. So uh, and that way I don't have to have any sort of air duct system or get kind of brown, nasty crap that gets everywhere if you're using when you're cutting plasma. So, okay. All right, slat bed next. I have a heck of a time trying to get these center ones in to this thing. They just don't seem to want to fit. If something got smashed or whatever, or maybe they weren't cut large enough, I don't know. So I'm going to take it out anyways since I got a water table coming. And I'm, this is all going to have to be removed when I put the table in anyways. So there's no point in keeping it in. Especially since I just want to put it together and just do a quick test run of it. There's no point in going through all that work and effort to pretty much take it right back out. So I'm going to pop it back out. And then once I get the slats laid in, then we're going to move on to the next step, which is actually installing the motors and I believe the feed screws. And then we'll be pretty close to kind of getting everything wrapped up. I got the motors mounted, gantries on. Check it out. Looks pretty good. Ooh. Wasn't too bad. I did put a couple things backwards I wasn't thinking, and I started with these screws on the other side, but fix it. And then I did drop a screw down in that little uh, cap cover. I should probably tell you to put the cap covers on prior to putting everything together so you don't do that. Uh, so that was fun trying to get that out of there. But uh, okay, motors are on, uh, gantry simply finished. Uh, now we're going to go into the torch mount and then the cable mount, which mounts over here that goes up and over top, so keep your cable out of your thing. So, uh, okay, let's move on to the torch mount stuff and go from there. Frame's done. Um, got the gantry. Most of the stuff is all. All I got left to do is put on the electronics, and got to line everything up. So as you can see, pretty slick. Still love how small this system is, and the fact that I can kind of move around the shop if I need to. Very convenient. So uh, all right, I'm gonna skip all this stuff here. Go ahead and finish it up, and uh, once everything's finished, then we'll uh, we'll do a little test run and uh, make sure everything works. Cool. All right. Okay, I've got everything together. Uh, software is installed, Mach 3, which is the program that controls the table. Um, I've already done the break-in, and everything needs to be working. A little archaic as far as the graphics goes, but table moves. Got the torch and stuff hooked up. So getting ready here to load a program. Uh, it's one of the 
files that they had on their FireShare website. It's the world map, so we're going to throw it on and do a quick test run and make sure everything works. All right, let's see if I can uh, not break something or blow myself up. Okay, here we go. All right, there you have it guys, the Langmuir Systems uh, Crossfire Plasma Table. I'm um, going to give it a try for about a week or so and uh, I'll get back with an update and let you know how I like it. Thanks for watching.